It's almost like an instrument. It really has pitch. It's a very, very beautiful Saturday morning and I'm I'm happy and relieved for the first time in one and a half years. Corona, COVID, the crisis, shops closed, lockdown, 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 not being able or allowed to go outside past a certain time at evening. Weird. The weirdest, weirdest year, year and plus that I ever had. And yesterday I got vaccinated. It hurts a little, but it's fine. And it's, it's a relief because now I know there's like light at the end of the tunnel. Like I think this right here, at least in Germany, is like the tipping point. We're getting a million people vaccinated per day. That's extra, extra good. So with a bit, like a whole bit of luck, maybe October, things will get back to normal. Maybe even ADE in Amsterdam will take place, maybe. That would be fun, being able to see everyone in the music making industry again. It's been a while. But yeah, I'm in a good mood. And whenever I'm in a good mood, there's there's one thing I in particularly love doing, and that is working on music. And sitting here, hearing the birds, I think it's time for some, some field recording. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I just feel like it. It's recording. I hear Vanessa more in the kitchen. Just, just, just wait. Isn't it fascinating that birds do these sounds and, and do it so perfectly without ever like really learning it and knowing what they're doing, but they still do it. It's like wired into their brains. That's, that's how music is also wired into our brains, 100%. Anyways, let's, let's stop this, head over to the studio and try something fun with it. Got it in, in logic and like, it's always fascinating to me. That's something I learned early on, something that is crucial, especially for club music. Cause you have like intros, outros, where it's just like kick, sometimes kick and snare, kick and clap or kick hi-hat and clap. So it's, it's very boring and very empty. So for example, on this song right here, if I just play you kick and snare, it's empty. But once the, the recorded stuff is added, just subtle in the background. It shouldn't be a main thing, never ever. You could use like vinyl crackles, like just like a, a buzz like or a hum, something low that doesn't interfere with the music. A lot of people also use like, I don't know, they, they record in a, in a coffee place, like just people talking or maybe like the ambience of a concert, like just people cheering, uh, clapping. You have to be careful with like pitches and, and rhythmical stuff. Because if it's then too loud, it will throw you off. So even here right there, I will try to either <laughs> melodyne the, the birds singing or just pick sections where it just doesn't naturally interfere with the song or just use it in the intro outro where there's anyways nothing melodic going on just to have it in there, something something real to, to, to ground the entire track a little. Next up, another effect I always wanted to record, actually two. For that, let's, let's go down to the live room. I love the sound of it. Like, this is a very cheap one that I bought to, to build the studio. And like, when it stops, it makes this, I don't like, it makes this stopping sound, like the delayed kind of stop. And it's still spinning a little. That's really interesting to me. I wanted to record it since the day I actually got it. So let's do that really quick. And next up, something not so crazy. I just want to record the hi-hat. Um, Cause like a hi-hat, especially like the, the closing and opening of it is something that is really hard to mimic in software. Oh, this one needs adjustment. I don't know, you, you play like on quarter notes and then the last one you open up and that stopping sound that you can like achieve by closing it again. 
very unique. And if you time it just right, it's like it, it's sucking towards the next bar, which really like gives a song drive. The hi-hat sounds good. I mean, downstairs I recorded it way too slow and a little off, but without a click, that's that's natural. I um I stretched it and it's now like perfectly aligned. Like everything on beat and then the open hi-hat is like the third and on the last quarter is like even the closing of it again, which gives it another rhythmic boost. Um, let's now check it out with the kick and the snare I already have. Maybe it's coming too often, like the at least like the, the closing, uh, the opening and closing of the hi-hat. So let's chop it really quick up and make it like every eight bars maybe. Maybe a lot of EQing, there, there, is, there is distortion on it. I think just cause I, I drove it into the recorder, but it sounds actually cool. Cause like a real hat might not fit to the style of the music. I would have anyways distorted it and fucked it up a little to make it sit nice on an electronic dance track and not like stick out as something too organic maybe. Um, but yeah, next up the drill. Fade it maybe in. Uh, let's add a ton of reverb. Now let's check with the synthesizer together if it still makes sense. Ooh, that synth is so good. Maybe a little loud. I mean, here in my room, you, you can hear it. Like I'm blasting the music. I'm in a good mood, so it's extra loud. Like a little tweaking of the drill sound and also the hat. Maybe filter it at the beginning because I want the click of the kick when it drops. So um, yeah, give me like an hour mixing a little here and there, getting those sounds in there, arranging a little more. I'll play you a before and after once I'm done. That's the sound of being done with work. I hope you like that track. I absolutely fucking love it. It took me quite long to make. I started it like one and a half years ago and it's still not finished, but like on and off because I didn't know which direction to take it. And now I finally found the one where I'm sure. And this track and Watch Me Burn and another track I haven't showcased yet are officially now signed to, to a label. Will be released in July until October and it's it's a label of one of the top 100 DJs on this planet according to the DJ Mac top 100 list he's in the top 30 that's all I can say you can now guess in the comments which one of them it is and which label you heard the song you can guess to which label or DJ it might fit whoever gets it right gets bonus points and if you're interested in, in samples I, I started yesterday releasing a sample pack for free 100% for free First link in the description, click on it, get it, and use it. If you're too lazy to record stuff yourself, like I'm doing it, then you can just use my recorded stuff, like kicks, samples of my synthesizers, like everything that is new in the studio. Enjoy it, have fun with it, and if you want even more, there's of course another sample pack that is um, like, I think a gigabyte of, of like samples, and it's, it's reduced in price right now. So yeah, check out the link in the description. Tomorrow, back again. In the studio, maybe? I'm not sure. I promised Vanessa to try to work a little less, but yeah. <laughs> I just can't help it. Making music is just, it's just so much fun.